My kids, it was high school, so it was a different kind of world, but uh, it was modeled after conservatory sort of environment, and, uh, and I had a really tough teacher, and so a lot of the kind of rehearsal stuff, the sort of relationship between teacher and student was really drawn from my own experiences, and then I heightened it and combined it with other figures from jazz history to kind of uh, give the character some more shape, but uh, but the root of it was, yeah, my own experiences. He, Miles had been drumming since he was 15, uh, he'd been doing rock drumming, so he didn't need to learn how to drum per se, he had to learn how to play jazz, which is like its own beast, so he had to learn you know, a new kind of grip, he had to learn a new kind of approach to the drum set, new techniques, so we did about three weeks of intensive training with them on the kit, and then, and then we started shooting. I hope they, they're left with certain questions, I guess, you know, questioning whether the ends justify the means, whether, you know, how far we're willing to kind of push ourselves in the name of a goal and whether that's really worth it. Um, to me, those are like big questions, bigger than whether you're just, you know, even if you're not a musician, I think they're questions that apply to any, any sort of pursuit in life. So, so yeah, I hope it starts a discourse. Shooting was tw uh, 19 days and then a couple days for inserts. I think it was. I think it was that. It was the time. It was just having. Uh, you know, there was a lot of a lot of images I wanted to capture. A lot of detailed imagery of what just to paint a full portrait of this world and the instrument. And I wanted it to feel like an action movie, uh, but shooting it on sort of a low budget and very little amount of time. That was that was the big challenge. But you know, you have good actors. You have good crew. It it works out.